like this change you know the most fashion abelio slash transport uk basically the reason i say abelio because i still call it abelio i don't care if it's transport uk and at the end of the day some of the vehicles do have the sign of abelio i wish i didn't say that because i know maybe they might go back to the garage and be like ah let's go and change it but yeah the change is nice though But yeah, um, obviously just to keep it short, uh, for those who may not know, uh, 211 has been uh, withdrawn between Waterloo and Sloan Square and was diverted uh, to Fantasy Park Station. This has been a thing that which has been for a long time ever since 11 was rerouted to Waterloo as well, which was one of the worst changes that could ever take place. Actually, to be, well yeah, actually I must say that. To be honest, there has been a lot of bad changes that TF4 has really made. I can go through the whole list and everything, but we don't even need to go into the details. You guys already know. Now the good thing with this bus back with the radio, I know there's a 99.9% chance that they're going to probably start bringing in some of the old vehicles that used to pop up onto the route. I think the only vehicle that you won't really see on the route is probably the Enviro 400s, which are no longer on the route, so props to that. Right, so they got hybrid MMCs with smart... Bro, that is so funny. They look damn ugly. I saw this on the, I think, was it? Yeah, it was on the 156. I didn't know they are doing this. They were doing this on the 345s and the 156, the Euro 6 hybrids, the original ones. But, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, 211, back of a radio slash transport UK, basically. It's kind of cool. Seeing it at Battersea Power Station is going to look a little bit funky, though. But it will entertain the place a little bit, since obviously, you know, 
they you're only seeing free buses so it is what it is to us um but yeah obviously the route is nice you know the original route was always nice but this this is just another story you know this is I'm, I'm gonna say this is actually more better than what the route was before that's what i'm gonna say the route the route looks a little bit more nicer before obviously for me i love my lts that's one of my main favorite vehicles that i love um then you also have a um, you have the fact that there's river balio transport uk you never know they can end up bringing in those other vehicles who knows but yeah it is what it is when you know hey let me know in the comments down below what do you, what do y'all think about this change do y'all like it do you jack with it do you enjoy it or do you not enjoy it let me know in the comments down below let me know feel free feel free to let me know in the comments you know what i'm saying but yeah, um, I just want to appreciate the bus driver so much for giving me the opportunity to, for me to see stuff that I don't think any other person who is doing YouTube and everything will probably have the opportunity to, unless if you have connections with someone from Battersea Power Station. I mean, not Power Station, Battersea Garage. That's basically it. So yeah, it is what it is. I'm just lucky enough that I was able to, you know. To be honest, I'm just really surprised from what I'm seeing right now. The route is nice, but I'm going to be honest with you, the route is actually small. I mean, well, yeah, small, short, whatever, 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 whatever it is, it's short. So that's basically, because obviously, you know, to be honest, it actually just took me like 30 minutes just to do the route. Like once upon a time, doing the bus number 211 from Waterloo to Hammersmith, it took me an hour and 10 minutes. And by the way, I still have that video, so it is what it is. Now, um, one of the, I think this one will probably be released first than the one going to Battersea. Oh, I might release both. But I don't know, because I wanted to keep it in the Shabby, uh, not FRV so series, way. the Shabby Trouble series. So that's basically it. But it is what it is to be honest, you know. But yeah, um, this change is not bad. I like the scenery of Battersea and everything as always. You know, Battersea does have some interesting scenery. Chelsea Bridge is really, really nice. You know, um, obviously with the Battersea Power Station and the whole development of that area, it's really, really nice. Obviously with the new Battersea Power Station station not the power station but the underground tube station obviously go check out my video i don't think i have one need you i have to put it on private but i can release it back to the public but yeah obviously you know it was really really nice amazing experience but uh yeah i can't say too much but yeah this is one of the only reasons why i am at some point out on my adventures the only thing I'm actually kind of waiting for is the N518. That's the only thing I'm waiting for. The N518. The moment I get that, boom, I'm done. Even the SL4, 129, whatever you want to call it, all of those. I'm trying to just trying to get those done. I'm done with transport for London. That's all I'm gonna say. I ain't gonna lie. Transport for London has been downgraded. There's been some good improvements with certain buses and all the other stuff. You know, certain trains and all the other stuff. But most of it ain't really all done. You know, it's just a whole hype. Like, I remember the whole 242 situation. Like, bro, that was all a hype. Like, I was surprised that it was going to Stagecoach saying about these new electrics. And then we found out that the electrics were going to be electrolytes, which it doesn't really phase me because at the end of the day, we were used to them having flipping Gemini Freeze, which are just, you know, the electric versions of the Gemini Freeze. That's what I like to call the electrolytes. But yeah, that's basically it, you know. Let me know what y'all think. What do y'all think about this change? Y'all like it? Do you jack with it? Do you enjoy it? It is what it is. The route is not bad. It is sl it is sl it is short. Very short. Something I really wasn't expecting. I thought it was gonna be so. I, I, I won't say long, but now the question is. If it's okay, okay, fine. Because obviously the bus driver I'm having, obviously most of the bus drivers they're gonna keep on the, on the chill floor. They're not gonna go too fast and start putting the foot down. And everything. Unless if you're dealing with someone that has a hybrid, hybrid. I'm talking about the ADL hybrids. Because you never know, they're gonna end up transferring like one ADL hybrid or maybe like a few alongside the LTs. You never know. You never know. If not, then it's just full on LTs, which that will not be sure. But you never know. They're TFL. I mean, not here for um, fantasy. You know, they're gonna end up 
checking in a couple of ADL hybrids because obviously all the ADL trivets are sadly gone. So, whoops. Oh, yeah. What do y'all think? What do y'all think?
Royal Brompton Hospital, Royal Marsden Hospital.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy LTE Z1619. This was an amazing day. Besides my phone being annoying, but hopefully, obviously, by the grace of God, we could be able to have a better phone in the future. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and take care. You sick by the big news.